Hi guys, it's me Andrea. I will show you today um, one of my pages in my journal for the it's a Facebook group 2017, my year 2017. I follow loosely. Um, but of course I'm working with other stuff in there and it's my year 2017 like I did last year. But of course I work for the group as well but this one is not group related um, but I wanted to do it so when you haven't watched my videos before I made this journal especially in this way because I didn't want to take it apart and normally when I work I work really really messy and then this binding clocks up with all the acrylics and gesso so then that's why I took or take normally this uh, journals apart but I didn't want to do that this time and um, so I came up with the idea to put a bit of gesso into the middle have it look you know it look a bit with a it's made with a dry brush technique so it looks a bit distressed already but I stayed in this little square here in the middle so and that restricts you to work differently me it restricts me to work differently so I had this little design in my mind since a while and I think that's perfect now for this page. I drew it down with a pencil first and went over with a pit pen in F, a black marker pit pen. And um, you saw me drawing it. Yeah, it's India ink. The pit pens are India ink and it's a permanent ink. But it has a bit of an open time. Where you, when you work on acrylic like gesso for example that means it can smudge when it's not dry and that's why I make sure with the gun it's dry before I go over with the erasure and um, then I went on with my pit pens I bought them not recently a while ago um, it's a, a big box with 60 pens and um, I'm running out I have this big one the big rushes 30 something but they're getting old now running out of ink and I needed new ones anyway so bought them and they have a really good uh, range of colors in there so I wanted to do something specially or almost exclusively with my pig pens and uh, what better you can do than this whimsical little drawings illustrating whatever it is and fill it in with these colors and um, but I normally I use my, my pit pens only for shading or not only but a lot for shading so but when you work with them on bigger areas I have to get used to the way to um, have a blending effect not only a one-dimensional layer of, of color so I, I went in with a light layer and then on top of that I'm starting to use darker and darker colors partially so that's how I got it or I think I got a bit more depth into it normally with acrylic paint I work completely different or even with um, watercolor media I work differently um, but uh, here with the pit pens you have to follow different rules I think so um, yeah, little windows I put some uh, different shapes of yellow into it for the lights and uh, work with my um, or with different colors here on the roof. I have to say I I'm not following a color rule here, whatever it is, uh, wheel or color theory, whatever. I just look into my box of pen of pens and pick something out what uh, speaks to me so um, not because of a harmony or any rule whatever it is because I think that restricts me so much when I always think about rules 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 it makes me nervous and it would break my my flow I'm in yeah definitely so and I like to have um, a bit of yeah contrasts in there so what I do uh, in between I'm not showing that I dry color because or I dry the, the, the ink you know when I 
want to have them next to each other in a really really clear separated line I go quickly in with my heat gun make sure that they're dry and use the other color when I don't want to have them blended different when I want to blend them and they're still wet so here of course I go over completely with the red uh, because um, it would have been fiddly going or drawing around all these little circles I will use a Posca later for that, the white one. That will be the only acrylic media I'm using. And it, you can't beat the white Posca. You can't. It has a fantastic coverage. So that's why I use it. Forgive me. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, here yeah, I'm using it already. And you can see it covers perfectly. You won't see any red under it. So wouldn't achieve that with something else apart from leave it yeah leave it uncolorized but it's a bit fiddly so and now i'm going on with my woodies i bought them very recently and always thought about buying them and i thought now what's the point of having them you know the woodies are stabilo and at the end of the day they are pretty much the same than the stabilo all it's a wax crayon and you can get them in all the colors. The Stabilo all are not only black or white, you can get them in all the colors as well. Um, but I wanted them. Oh, come on, no excuses here. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I wanted them, so I bought them. But of course, you can work on larger areas so much better. You know, it uh, fills it in quickly. But apart from that, I wanted them. So. <laughs> But there are, to my mind, I'm, I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but to my mind, they are exactly what you have in the Stabilo Old. But um, they are covering big areas. But therefore, you are much better off with a Stabilo Old when you want to do all the little lines and all the little details to shape them in. So, but you can see I put them on here and blend them out then with water and a brush. And that works, yeah, fantastically, absolutely right. But that's how a crayon works. I could have used my nails, the water-soluble ones. Yeah, of course, could have done that. But what's the point? I wanted the woodies. <laughs> okay. I define the little hill here a bit around the houses. Yeah, I put some birds down. Don't know why. Um, yeah, they're okay. Looking at them now, I think, yeah, could have done without them. Uh, because I went over the lines with all my markers, I have to go and define them again with my pit pen here in F again. More definition. To make them stand out a bit more only for that reason so now I use my white woody for highlighting I'm not using my Posca normally I use the Posca for that a lot but this time as I said I only wanted to have uh, used my my woodies and my pit pens and that's what I do going on with shading again I think I would go in with my white at the end and uh, put a bit more on but that's it just having fun here with shading and trying my new toys <laughs> that's what it is nothing more that's why I wanted to make this page to to play with my new toys why should I say something else why should I come up with them um, something you all know that you have all been there have you okay so I'm going back with my white put a few highlights in here and there but that's it I'm I think I go in with my black stabilo all on the bottom here that's what I do to um, enhance the the hill yeah the shape and a bit of the bottom of the houses the shading exactly but that's it oh no that's not i frame this little picture therefore i use my um 
big for the body in black and frame around it. And I think that brings it quite good together. But that's it. So you will see a close up now. And I had a lot of fun. I really must admit it was fun to do that page. And if you had fun, great. So then leave me please thumbs up or leave a comment. What do you think? Do you want to see something like that more often? Tell me. So I thank you a lot for watching. And I hope I will see you soon with my next project. So have a fantastic time, guys. Bye-bye.